hi everyone. All right, so thank you for joining um, our floral lessons for today. Okay, um, all right. So um, let me just introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Arina Asri and I am the application engineer at ACAD System Penang Senior Merhai. Okay, I hope um, you can hear my voice clearly and then also you can sh um, view my screen. Alright, so for today's topic, uh, for our front lessons topic for today is we are going to um, learn on the bright design for bridge design for uh, InfraWorks and for beginners level. Okay, alright, so for the course outline is um, the first thing uh, in order we want, in order for us to create the bridge with this, we're gonna uh, do the model builder. Okay, so the model builder in uh, InfraWorks, meaning by uh, in InfraWorks, you can choose which location that you want. So basically, uh, in this model builder function, you can specify where the location that you want to um you want to design your bridge or your road. Okay, and then the second one is we are going to create uh, the roadway. All right, and the third one is we're going to, um, so after we have created the roadway, then we can see in InfraWork as well, uh, we can have the profile view of the road, and also we can have the cut and fill volume uh, for the road that we create, or the, the road that we design. And the last one is we're going to create the bridge from the road. Okay, so um, I'm going to, I'm going straight to my, InfraWorks uh, software right now. Okay, so uh, as you can see, this is the InfraWorks software. Okay, so what are the meanings by the model builder that I um, explained to you is on this InfraWorks, we have these three buttons, which is open, new, and model builder. So um, the model builder is, okay, so when I click on this model builder, right, and this one will appear. This is where you can uh, specify, um, choose uh, your specific location. Maybe you want to create um, somewhere around, uh, let me just uh, specific the place, maybe somewhere around Pasisala over here. And I click enter, and then it will bring you to the, to the, to the Pasisala location. Okay, and then from there, up here, I have this uh, like a draw rectangle. So you can specify the location. So for instance, because we're going to create or we're going to design a bridge, so we need uh, somewhere, a, a location somewhere that have a um, river or the sea. And then I'm gonna just hover over there and then I click on the draw rectangle. I start from uh, maybe somewhere around here until here. All right, so when you have done uh, um, specify your the location that you want to design your your model uh, your yeah your your root model so you need to name first your model okay all right so thank you to the one that just joined so currently we are we're going to create or we are going to design a bridge and a route uh, in infraworks software all right, so let's name our model first. Maybe we can name it as Bridge, um, Bridge, Kampung Gajah. All right, and then on the coordinate system, uh, so here it shows that if unsure, just select the LL, LL84 here. So if you have uh, your own coordinate, so that you can just uh, select it, select the coordinate that you have. But if you not very sure with the coordinate so you can just select this click on this um link which is ll84 and then you can click create model so once um you click create model so this infraworks will um generate the model that uh you have specified the location that you want to create your bridge okay let me just um close this one first okay so basically once you create the model um, 
you will receive uh, the email. It, it might take some time to, for the model to appear here. Okay, because if the bigger the size of the location that is specified just now, uh, so the the longer the time will take for the for infraworks to generate the map model. All right. So once the model um once the model have um have ready have uh, you're ready to use the model, so um infraworks will give you the emails saying that your model is ready. So basically right now my model is not ready yet. If it is ready, it will appear um, on this InfraWorks software. Okay. All right. So now um, I'm just going to use uh, the model that I have created uh, previously. All right. So that we can, we will not wasting our time waiting for the model to be generated. Okay. Now I'm just going to click on this, the root PS that I have here, the model. Click this one, all right? So this is the model that we that we specified in the model builder just now. Okay, so as you can see here, right? So from here, we are going to create a, a root a root first. Okay, so maybe like um somewhere around here, we're going to create a a root, right? To cross this river. Okay, so to do that, uh, up here on this InfraWorks uh, software, we have a few tabs here, which is the first one is Manage, Create, Analyze, and Present and Share. So to create a, or to design a route in this InfraWorks, you can go to Create. And then under this Create here, we have this, uh, this under this transportation, we have few types of um, route that we can create, which is the first one is the component route. The second one is planning road and the third one is barrier. All right. So the difference between this component road and this planning road. All right. So basically, um, uh, during the initial design, during this initial design to design this um, road in InfraWorks, basically we will use this planning road. Okay. This planning road, like basically you can, when I click on this planning road, we have few types of road, few type of street. All right. That InfraWorks have. So for instance, I just scroll down below here, we have the sidewalk and green space, sidewalk with lamps and so on. All right, another one is this um, component route. All right, so the difference between planning route and the component is component route basically, um, we will have all those details that we want. So for instance, in, in component route, we can do the analysis, which is uh, we can know the cut and fill section, but in this uh, planning road, we cannot have those um, details or information. All right. So that is the difference between these two, um, two road, the component road and the planning road. So basically, planning road is, planning road is just for uh, planning on uh, infraworks. Okay. So right now, I'm going to create a road from maybe slightly from here and to the side. So I click on this planning road. Okay, and then let's choose um, maybe this sidewalk with lamps over here. Okay, I click on this sidewalk with lamps and then bring your cursor slightly to this road, start, starting from this road. Just bring to here and then click. And then you can just draw straight to this um to this side. Okay. And then once you click, and then you can double click enter. All right. And then the road will uh, generate or the road will appear. All right. So you can see now we have uh, a road crossing this river. All right. So um so for this road, there are a few things that you can do, which is um, you can also edit the road. Okay, to edit the road, so basically, for example, you want to add another lane. You maybe maybe like on on the road that you design, you want to add um, a sidewalk, a bike lane, all right, and so on. So what you can do is 
I go to this manage up here. And then under this content, we have this style palette. Okay, I click on the style palette over here. And on this um, style palette here, we have this few tabs button. So just, you can just scroll down below until you found the road. All right, so this is the road. So I click on the road. All right, this is the, the types of road that we have in infra, infra works. So the road that we used just now is sidewalk with lamps. Okay, this one, and then I double click. All right, in here, on the track setting over here. So for instance, you wanna add uh, another link um, for in this, in this, Road. So you can just uh, click uh, add here. Okay. So for instance, uh, on this road here, we already have the bike way, bike lane and the sidewalk lane. So I'm going to add uh, maybe like curb. Okay. And let's specify the width over here. Maybe somewhere around um, 0 0.5 meter. And the track in here. As at maybe the curb side. Okay, now as you can see, this red color is the curb side. All right, so when you have done editing all those, all, all those um, elements that you want to add in, in, this, in this road, so you can just click OK. Now our road will uh, generate the new road that we, that we added to start. Okay, so you can see now we have this red curb over here, red line here. All right. So that is on the editing at the road. Okay, another one is, just close this one. Another one is after um, you have done, um, maybe you're creating, you're designing a road or a bridge and then you have done with editing and adding the elements on the road. So the next one is make sure that you convert the this planning road into the component road, all right? So that we can have those uh, analysis details that we want, for instance, the cut and fill section, the profile view of our road, okay? So to convert the planning road into the component road is you can just go and right click and click first the road that we wanna, that we want to um, convert them. You right click and then you have here this convert to component road. So I click on this component, convert to component road. Okay, so now we have here this one, the, the, the a, a very detailed road, um, a very detailed component road. All right, so um, in InfraWorks as well, you can view the profile view of our road. So to view the profile view of the road is you can go to up here, you have this view or display. So I click this one and I have this profile view. When you click the profile view, okay, let me just go slightly over there. Okay, click this road first and then go to this view and display, click profile view. Okay, so this is our profile view. All right, so on this profile view, on this profile road profile view here, there is a line um, yellow color here. Okay, thank you to the one that just joining uh, our parallel lessons for today. All right, so you can just uh, bring this line to, um, maybe you wanna know um, where are the location of this profile view in here. So just bring this line slightly to here and then you can know the location of the road uh, in, in the realistic view on this on the screen. Okay, you can just play around, uh, play around uh, bringing this yellow line. Okay, and then another one is you can as well um, know the cut and fill volume, cut and fill volume for this, for the road that we, we design right now. Okay, so, um, all right, so I have clicked this road and then on the right side here, we have this function, which is cut fill. So I'm just gonna click in here, okay. And then as you can see now, 
uh, there is no details or no information for our cutting or fill, cutting or fill um, volume for our road. So you don't need to worry because you can just go slightly on the right side. Here we have this compute earthwork quantities. So when I click that and then I have this um, cutting and cutting and fill, fill volume for our road. Okay, so that is for cutting and uh, fill, cut and fill for, for the road that we have designed. All right, so now I'm just gonna move on into creating the design, sorry, creating the bridge or design the bridge from the road that we have created right now. Okay, so because this is um, a component road, so I'm going to create slightly uh, a bridge from here to here. So to do that, um, because this is component road, we need to use their structures. We need to add the structures in this component road. So uh, I click on the create, and then under this structure here, if you drop down, you have this bridge, all right? So I click on the bridge, all right? It, this infraworks will um, highlight the road that we have um, in pink color. Let me just slightly bring up until here. And then again, I go to the create, click structures and click bridge. And then just bring your mouse. Maybe we can start, um, start slightly over here. Start from here. Okay, I will start uh, my, my bridge from this dry, this dry area to this dry area somewhere around here, okay? So once you have a click, uh, specified the length of your bridge, and then uh, this infraworks will take some time to generate your, your bridge model. Okay, now, all right, so this is our bridge. Just click uh, escape, and then in here, Okay, as you can see here, we have already our bridge. So if I bring my cursor toggle down below here, so we can see the infra uh, infraworks have already um infraworks have already uh generate all those uh structure elements that needed in the bridge for the bridge design. Okay, so we have here this foundation and also the filing. So it will be generated um generated automatically. All right. So um so for example, uh for this bridge, maybe the piers over here, I want to add. Uh, I have four four piers, uh, on this bridge, and I want to add maybe so maybe uh in the future you work on a project and then you want to add the numbers of the piers. So to do that, you can just go and bring your cursor slightly to this bridge click on the bridge all right so if you want to make sure that you have clicked on the bridge this um this information will appear so if it is showing bridge so meaning that you have selected the bridge but so for instance i click on here and then it come up with road so basically you have selected uh, the road okay Again, I click the, I selected the bridge and then on the bridge here, if you can see you have this number of piers. Okay, this numbers of piers here, I'm gonna change maybe slightly um, five, click enter. So once I click enter, this infraworks will, infraworks software will generate uh, the new piers, adding the new piers uh, automatically. So now we have one, two, three, four, five fires. All right. And then uh, the next one is, okay, just go click over here. Right. The next one is, um, for instance, <clears throat> I click on this, um, I click on this road. I click on this bridge, sorry. Click on this bridge. And then it will show you the numbers of uh, our the numbers of our girders okay so you can see here the numbers of girders four 
Okay. So, but when I click escape, the girders away, the, the road will um, appear back to our bridge. Okay. So I click again on the bridge and then I right click and then on the component display here, you can untick uh, the one that you don't want to see when you click on the bridge. So for instance, I tick this route and tap first and then click escape and I click again on the bridge, then it will not, uh, it will show me the route as well. But when I right click and I click component display, and I untick the root and that, so it will bring you straight to the girders. All right, so now for the girders, uh, I want to change, maybe I want to show you how to change the numbers of the girders on our bridge. Okay, so for instance here, um, the girders will be separated or will be divided um, by group. Okay, so for instance, this one will be girder group number six. And this is, Girder group number five. All right, so it, uh, basically these girders will automatically um, generate uh, the name. The name will be automatically generated and also will be separated automatically by infraworks. Okay, so when, for instance, I click on one of the girders group here and then I change the numbers of the girders, maybe like um, five, click enter. <clears throat> All right, so now as you can see here we have um one, two, three, four, five girders, and then uh other 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 girders group here is still four. So if you want to change them as well, you can just click and then change the numbers of the girders on this information. Okay, another one is uh for the girders as well, you can also um adding the frame for the girders. So like for instance, I am on the girders group five over here and I right click, sorry, escape first and I click again on this bridge. All right. And I choose one of the girders. Okay. I choose one of the girders and I right click I and I can add a component. So to add it, uh, what the component that we can add is the cross frame. So I click add component and I click cross frame. And I just click here, click, press enter. Okay, let's just wait. All right, so now as you can see, now we have this um, automatic, the cross frame for the girders will automatically generate. Okay, that is on editing on the girders. All right, just escape this one. Um, another one is so for instance, um, on this, okay, right, this is a straight road, right? Even the bridge is also a straight road. So basically, sometimes you want to create um from this road starting on the bridge, there will be like four lanes. Okay, like uh, right now is two lanes, and then maybe you want to create a four lanes so what you can do is you can just i click on the road and then i right click and then i have here this road assembly so i can so i click on the road assembly and i replace the assembly okay all right so from there okay sorry again i click on the road and i right click and I wrote assembly, replace assembly. All right, so from there, I'm just gonna start slightly over here. And then I just bring this one straight to here. Okay, maybe this one slightly a bit from there. Okay, and then I click on enter. It will up updating the mode all. Basically, just now I didn't choose the style of the road that we want to replace on our bridge. Okay, so let's just wait here. Maybe sometimes it will take uh, more time to create this, to create the, to replace the assembly. So as you can see now, 
you also can do that. Okay, but let me just undo this one first. Okay. All right, so like right here, I click on the road and I right click, I wrote assembly, replace assembly, and I choose from here. I drag this one until here. And for the style here, let's choose maybe this bridge falling barrier. And I click enter. <clears throat> Okay. All right. So this is now um our bridge. Maybe this one is, is kind of weird over here. So that is the way on um how you can replace replace replacing the assembly. Okay. All right. Okay, another one is, let me just go straight over here. All right. So from there, when I click on this bridge, click on this bridge, and then let us change the number of this goods. Be slightly around seven. Enter. All right. Okay, so that is the way on you how you can uh create our create the bridge and the rope as well in improvers. So um I think that is all uh, from me. So if you guys have any questions, just uh, ask in this chat section. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So um all right, so there is a one question. Can add reinforcement bar inside uh, inside the slab? All right, so basically um from this in works, maybe you want to add uh, the, the reinforcement uh from in, in this in works, you can do that in the rabbit by converting into the rabbit this bridge this bridge convert them into the rabbit and then you can add the reinforcement bar uh, maybe you know, for the slab of the bridge. So you can do that in rabbit. There is no problem. Okay, because in this in products, we just have uh, like creating this uh, simple element over here. Okay, all right. So, all right. So if you don't have any questions, um, I think that is all from me for our today's free online lessons. For today's tutorial okay mm. uh thank you so much for joining us i hope to see you guys uh, again in the future in our in the in our upcoming pro lessons thank you so much for joining and yeah bye bye and stay safe everyone